Hello friends. In this video, we are going to see the function block arithmetic. First of all, we will head over to the OpenPH editor. Okay, now we will create a new project. To do that, we will add a new folder and we will name the new folder Automatic dash six. I will select the folder and change the language to like diagram, then press OK. I'll drag this down and add power rails. On the left side and on the right side. And I will add a block from the standard function blocks, which is going to be our counter. And I would like to add another block from the arithmetic. Which is modulo. Now I would like to add some variables here. CU, which is a Boolean, and the coil. set value the count value and put first and out We'll also change them to integers. And I will add a value to the preset, which is 10, and the iron first. I will just Call it twenty after this I will add a coil which is our Q. Then I will adjust the block size and join these pins. Add a contact which is our CU join these pins here then add some variables which is our preset value
another variable which is the count value and the class is output now I'm going to just copy and paste the variable then double click on it and change the class to input press ok join these pins add another variable which is ion first then join these pins class will be output press ok ok now I will start the simulation the simulation is complete I will click on the classes here I will drag this bit up to show you the diagram clearly now as you can see the reset value is 10 while the ion first value is 20 so for the mod which is modulo the out or the output of the mod block is a reminder which means that every time I increase the value of the counter value as well it will go up to one two three it will divide the ion first value and the reminder will be our output let's see how as you can see the value is one and the ion first value is 20 when you divide it by 1 the reminder will be 0 and for 2 the reminder will be 0 also as for 3 it will be 2 as you know that if you multiply 3 by 6 which is going to be 18 then the reminder is going to be 2 Again, when I post true for the fourth time, as 4 multiplied by 5 is 20, so the reminder is 0. Pretty common, right? For the seventh time, it's 6. For the eighth time, it's going to be 4 and For the 9 is 2 and for the 10 it will be 0 now I'll start the simulation now this ends our video here thank you for watching